In this video, I'm going to walk you through a complete guide on how to use Facebook on your iPhone, Android, or computer. Whether you're new to Facebook or haven't used it in a while, I'm going to walk you through all of the steps to become a power user on the Facebook platform. Now, first, just open up the App Store or Google Play Store if you're on an iPhone or Android. And let's just type in Facebook. And once we're on Facebook, if you haven't installed it already, just tap on it to download it to your device. Keep in mind, if you're on a computer, you can just go to facebook.com instead. Now let's open up Facebook here. And if you already have an account, you can log into your account just by tapping on your name or entering in your username or email. Or if you've never signed up before, you can hit create new account and then create an account. You're just gonna enter in your name, your date of birth, and then you'll enter in your email address and phone number so that you can get those codes texted to you or emailed to you so you can get into your account. After you set up an account, I'll show you what it looks like. Facebook is notorious about moving around settings and features and buttons. So walk through these steps so that you make sure that you know where everything is here in 2025. Now, from the Facebook app, let's hit save here. You'll be able to see it looks something like this. At the top, it says what's on your mind, where you can make your statuses or post status updates. Right below it is create a story. I can create my own story as well as see other stories. These are disappearing photos and videos that disappear after 24 hours. So I can tap on these and also just swipe through to see any of these. You can also just scroll down and see all of the posts and information on my feed. You can see Mark Zuckerberg, et cetera, from here. Now, if you wanted to start by posting something, you can tap what's on your mind here. And from here, I can choose who I do I want to share this to. It can be public, friends, only me, friends accept, et cetera. Now, after I've done that, I can choose whether to share this on Instagram as well. I can turn this on to share it through Instagram because, of course, Facebook is owned by Meta, which owns Instagram as well. Now, on here, I can type in something like what's on my mind and I can say hi. I can also tap on the little photo button here and then I can bring up the camera roll. If I allow full access, I can basically just bring in a photo. Let's say that photo and hit next. Now I have that photo, I can add music if I wanted to tap add music and include a song, let's say that song I wanted to add. After I've done that, you'll be able to see I can at the very bottom tag people, tag location, etc. When I'm ready to go, I can hit the post button at the very top right. This will post it to my feed and it will show other people that same post here you can see it shows up right in my feed. People can like that specific photo or video. They can tap on comment and comment on it. And then of course they can also hit share if they wanted to share it with someone else or they wanted to share it to their story or send it in Messenger. I'm just gonna tap the three dots at the top right here. And from here, I'm just gonna hit move to trash because I don't necessarily want that. Now, after you've looked at everything on here, you can see at the very bottom is friends. I can tap on that and this will show me a curated list of just the posts from my friends, not necessarily the one from groups or pages or basically the content that Facebook thinks I want to see. I can also go over to reels and just see the videos that are associated with Facebook. These are called Facebook Reels. A lot of times they're vertical style videos. You can see Mr. Beast, et cetera, on here. And essentially these are similar to TikTok videos or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Now, you'll also be able to see profile at the bottom right here. I can tap on that to get directly to my profile. If you don't see the exact same icons here that I'm showing, then keep in mind, you can also follow along by finding them by tapping on menu at the bottom right, or you can tap on menu at the very top right, and you'll be able to see all of those items right here. I can hit show more to see all of this. So I can see Facebook dating. I can see the marketplace where I can sell and buy goods, reels, friends, etc. Beyond just generally posting Facebook statuses about your day, Facebook has a broad array of features, including Facebook Marketplace, where you can buy and sell goods, 
It has Facebook dating where you can meet a significant other or start a relationship. It even has groups where you can connect to people that have the similar hobbies or interests as you. But let's get back to your profile. So you can either tap on profile at the bottom here or tap on it at the top. From here, you'll be able to see a cover photo at the very top that I can tap on and I can choose to upload a new cover photo if I wanted to. I can also tap on my specific profile photo and I can choose to select a profile picture if I wanted to choose one from my camera roll or previous photos that I've uploaded, I can do that as well. And then of course, if I scroll down, you can see add to story where I can add a photo or a video that disappears automatically after 24 hours. In addition to that, I can tap on edit profile here. Again, I can edit my profile photo, my avatar, but I can also edit the current city and workplace. And I can scroll down and tap on edit about info and change the places I've lived, my education, contact info, all of that. Now let's go back out of here because you'll be able to see on your profile if you scroll down are all of your friends. And then if you scroll down more are your posts that you've posted in the past. On any of these different ones, you can see who has liked it, who has commented on it, etc. Basically, you'll be able to see all of that information associated with that one post. Now, after you've done all of this, I would also recommend checking out the settings and the privacy settings on Facebook. So tap on menu at the bottom right, or it might be at the top right. Again, scroll down towards the bottom, open up settings and privacy, and then tap on settings. Now from here, the first thing that I would recommend doing is scrolling down from here and under audience and visibility, I would highly recommend choosing first followers and public content. This is where you can determine what type of your content is either public, available to everybody, or it's only available to your friends or only you. So for instance, on who can see your followers, you can choose whether it's only me, your friends, or whether that's public information. So on everything on here, I would go through the list and set it to however restrictive you want. I usually set this to most restrictive, either only me or friends. You can also go back out here and tap on profile and tagging. And this you can go through the same as you did before. For instance, who can see what others post on your profile? You can choose only me, friends, everyone, etc. Now let's go back and go back. After you've gone through all of those things, I would also recommend checking out the active status towards the bottom. Now, on the active status, you can choose to turn that off. Essentially, if you don't want anyone else to know when you are on Facebook, keep in mind the active status indicator will essentially tell them that you're currently on the Facebook app or facebook.com. And it basically will tell them if you don't read their messages or respond to them that they know that you're online. I like to turn that off. Facebook's parent company Meta also owns Instagram. So practically anything you do on Facebook, you can bring over to Instagram as well. If you wanted to share a story on Facebook, you can jump over and post it on Instagram as well. And you can do that for posts, reels, etc. Now, the next thing I would recommend checking out is notifications at the bottom right here. You'll be able to see all of your notifications, comments on your posts, other people that posted things, maybe they've tagged you or invited you to groups, etc. And now you'll be able to see at the very top right is messages. Keep in mind, Facebook is linked to Facebook Messenger. And by doing so, switching over to Messenger, you'll get to all of your messages on the Facebook platform. These are all messages that you can send and receive to people that you're connected with on Facebook. From here at the top right, you can tap on the pencil and paper. And you can always hit create a new group or you can just scroll down and find somebody that you want to chat with and then just tap on their name and then start chatting with them by tapping on the little AA and start typing in a message to them. Now, keep in mind, you can also go through the process of tapping on the pencil and paper and then hitting create a new group. If you wanted to create a group with a bunch of people, classmates, friends or you know work buddies, anything like that. Now let's get out of here and go back over to Facebook. Once you're on Facebook, another thing to keep in mind when you're on Facebook is that you might want to add more content than just what's on your mind. 
You can do that by tapping on the plus at the very top here. And you'll be able to see I can add a post. This is great for photos. I can add a story, which again is good for photos and videos, but does disappear after 24 hours. And then I can add a reel, which is a vertical style video that will live on my profile and be shared through everybody. So I can tap on reel. And again, I can tap on the camera if I wanted to just basically take a video right now, or I can just upload a photo or a video. Say I wanted to add this as my reel. I can add audio if I wanted to add music to that. I can basically tap on a song and then just add that music to it. In addition, I can add text, I can add stickers, I can save it back to my device. And when I'm ready, I can hit next. I can add a title and description. I can change who can see this, whether it's public or just my friends or only me. I can also go down and tag people, the location, and I can choose, of course, to share it to Instagram as well. So you have a bunch of different options in terms of customizing how you share these videos, the photos, the status updates, etc. on Facebook.